it was on the 1st of April 2019. I was having rashes on my body, as, as you can see. I went to the hospital. So the, 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 the dermatologist prescribed to me some, some soap and oil to come and rub there. When I go, he gave me the rendezvous that I should come back. When I go back to the hospital again, he told me that these rashes are stubborn. That I should go and I should go and do certain tests. When I go and do the test and I come back, she told me that I'm having hepatitis B. So he referred me to one doctor in tennis, in tennis. That I should go and see the doctor now. He will tell me what to do. As the the doctor uh, told me. I go back home, I called my sister, and I was crying. I told her, that, that's what they have told me in the hospital, that I'm having a pathetic thing. So, I was, I, I kneeled down, and I, I didn't go now to do the, 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 the thing that the other doctor told me to go and do. I wait, I kneeled down, and I was praying. I used some items in this church, and I was, the anointing oil, and the, uh, the, and the uh, anointing water to spray it in my mouth, to minister in my mouth. Praise God. So in that, in that confession, she now called the sister who is a, a faithful Christian here and let her get what, what happened. Praise the Lord. She called me when she was still in the hospital and was crying. Say, sister, you know what I say, tell me, say, the daughter has told her that she's having hepatitis B. I said, then you are crying. You don't know the grace that I'm under. Stop crying. Go down on your knees and pray. God will see you through. So the, the same week I came in church on Sunday, I heard this picture, her picture. When Papa was approaching me, I went down on my knees. I said, man of God, help my sister. She's having hepatitis B. Use me to deliver her. Man of God just said, it is done. After two weeks, she went for another test and called me. Say, guess what? The God of Major One has done it again. And just like that, the report changed. Just like that, Papa, the report changed. Just like that, Major. Just like that. The two reports are there. That is Papa. Can we get the analysis now from the... People of God, praise the Lord. People of God, praise the Lord. These are the reports. This is the first day that she went to the hospital. This is the date. It was on the 1st of April. She went to the hospital for some for complaint of skin rashes and made a, a dermatologist. Then she was prescribed a few drugs. She went back, took the drug, but to no avail. She came back again. And when she came back now, the, the, the dermatologist requested for some tests and she did wait the dermatologist requested for some tests and hepatitis B was among she went now and did the test and it came out positive then after when the elder sister had an encounter with the major one and the major one declared she went back the results were now negative. These are the new medical reports. This is a new medical report showing that hepatitis B has disappeared. She's now diseased. What was the date? Fourth of what? Go to the old report. What was the date there? 13th of August. I want to see the name on the old report and the name on the new report. I've been telling you know how to do coverage. Go to the name on the old report and the name of the new report. We have edit. Lange edit. Go to the new one. Lange edit. Is it correct, church? That's how we compare reports. Because tomorrow, when somebody will be watching, they will say, ah, let them, let's, let's see the names. Did they show the names? They can use somebody's report to, to convince people who are looking for miracle. Am I correct? Oh, yes. You know, not everybody believes that miracle is real. So, after the 
prophetic declaration through her picture. You stood a gap for her. Yes, Papa. And she went to the hospital. And she went to the hospital, Papa. And it, it changed from positive it to negative. To negative. By then, when I called her, I told her that she, she must be praying and using the, the medium because the husband came here as an opportunity to have the anointing oil. So she was using her anointing oil with prayers every night and was connecting to channels. So the, the God of Major One did it for her. Now that you're healed, what is your promise to God? And what word of advice do you have to those who are sitting in the church with medical reports? Can you advise them and promise God? I promise God that I will always um, pray. I will always pray and read my Bible. Then those people who are worshiping God all over the world, who are all over the world, I would tell them that when um, uh, any, man, prophet, any man of God prophesies to them, they should not go and stay. Let them continue to pray and take their drugs and pray and keep praying. One day God will see them through. Yes, the God will see them as through. As he has seen you through. through. Yes. <laughs> Clap together for Jesus. Anybody with hepatitis connecting to this testimony, you are healed in the name of Jesus. And if there's anybody sick with hepatitis in your family, today they are healed also in the name of Jesus. Now that God has done it, who can receive the glory? God. Put your hands together for Jesus. Okay. Pray then in the Lord. When you go to any living church or where you find yourself, hold on to the word of the prophet. Because Major One just said to me that it is done. And I said, I received. I fell on the floor. I said, I received. When I went home back, I told her that keep on praying because the mother of God has said it. God is has the final say and it is done today now we are who has the final say jehovah has the final say who has the final say jehovah has the final say he takes your life he takes your life ahead 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 he takes your life 